Okay guys, we're off the ship in Grand Turk and here's the ship. Walking on the beach. We like to walk further down where it's less crowded because it's really crowded now. We walk further down from the crowds, so that's where it's really crowded. And then we're over here where it's less crowded. And look at the beautiful water. We're at Jack Shack and look at this dog in the water. It's up there. Oh, he doesn't care about anybody. <laughs> He just wants to be the water. back from Grand Turk and here's our towel animal I'm not sure what that is yeah but we're gonna go uh, sit on the balcony and watch if there's any pier runners and this is the view from our balcony look at that water beautiful and we were the only ship here today hey guys so I wanted to show you what I picked up from Grand Turk uh, I didn't want to get a bunch of things but I got I knew in my mind that I, for, for each port that we go to that, that I wanted a Christmas ornament and this says Grand Turk Turks and Caicos and I thought that was kind of cute they did have a Christmas section but uh, this was only five bucks, so got that. I also broke down and got a hairbrush. It was $7.99, probably double the price. No tax, but I just, that's the one thing I forgot to bring with me was a hairbrush. And I brought a comb, but I just, I don't know. I just, I've been missing a hairbrush. And I'm going to use this well after the cruise, so, you know. And then this is for my grandmother. It's the Tortuga Caribbean Rum Cake, and we got the Golden Original. And we didn't want to get her like a t-shirt or anything. She's not going to wear that. So this is something that we all can share together. And she'll enjoy it. Okay, guys. So we came back about 45 minutes before you're supposed to get on board. Yeah. I know it doesn't look like a lot of people, but let me zoom in. There's a lot of people there. Before, there was basically nobody online. And we were able to get on at the very last We went, We walked all the way down and to that entrance right there, and there was not a line like that. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. We were right there. I was like, where's the music coming from? It's that party boat. That looks like fun. <laughs> I guess everyone's back on board. Oh, the ship's, in, the ship's about to move. I'm going to turn this around and show you. The time is around 2.40. And we're just leaving now.
or the pier. This is the boat now turning around and that's where we were, right there. Beautiful place. But we walk, uh, we don't stay right here by the, by the pier. We walk all the way down uh, because it's way less crowded. I have some bad news guys. I went to the Golden Girls trivia and I just got 15 out of 15, baby. I won myself the trophy and it was close. There was a, they tell you to keep your hand up for like, you know, if you got one question right, two and so on. And a lot of people had their hands up. And then when it got to 13, 14 and 15, all the hands dropped and yeah. So these are the answers. And when I went up to, for her to check it, uh, she was like, wow, you were really specific. And I was <laughs> I was just so excited. I was like, yay! And it's funny because Steve and... Uh, oh, I just got a message. Steve and John, uh, my boyfriend and my sister's boyfriend, they went to the Superheroes Trivia. And they also got 20 out of 20 questions. And they won, too. So, oh, it's so exciting. We uh, The last cruise we were on, Steve went to the... I think it was comics or something like that and he want uh he want a ship too so uh it's a tradition now and they have some trick questions if any of you are golden girls fans so number two was what was the hotel that sophia blanche and rose owned and that's a spinoff that's not really the golden girls um uh, it's related but i don't know i thought that was a trick question and then number three was who owned the house it's blanche but in one episode she said that north federal the bank owned it so i wasn't sure i put both and then for five uh what was blanche's occupation or job and you had to write grief counselor you couldn't just write counselor and then um 11 i thought so they they asked what's Dorothy's job and you have to write substitute teacher you can write teacher and then um, another trick question was number 14 which was true or false was Dorothy the only one who remarried on the show and that's false because Sophia got married to that old guy um, yeah so I won I'm so excited and we just uh, we ate uh, at Grand Turk we went to Jack Shack where he had the dogs and that was a cat as well and the one there was one dog who kept on swimming in the water it was so cute and we got the jerk chicken and a mixed plate and it was really good really really good and but that was around 11 30 and so we came back uh, we sat outside for a little while I went to the Golden Girls trivia then I went to get something to eat and now I'm just gonna relax because we don't have dinner until 8 15 and I love late dining. I understand why some people pick uh, the six the earlier dining, which I think is around six o'clock, six fifteen, if they have kids. But we just love it because it gives us like the whole day, and I feel like it's so close together, like eating times. If you pick six o'clock, anyway, I love having late dining. And today is cruise casual again, and yeah, so really excited that I won, and I was. I thought they were gonna ask super hard questions like how many kids do does Rose have? What are their names? And uh, who did Dorothy remarry at the end of the show? I forgot the guy's name. I don't know, Jack maybe? Anyway, so yeah, I'm just gonna rest now. I already took a shower when we came back and it was so funny how much stuff came out of like my bathing suit and there was stuff all on my body. And I think I got some good sun. I didn't burn, thank goodness. None of us burned. So getting some nice color. And yeah, I'll see you later.